All right, all right, let's do it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rolex up on it and go. Today's event is the NAIA Championship game for the men. You've got the producer, uh, they're kind of the, you know, the, they're the engine driver pretty much. They're the ones who are deciding uh, the themes of the show, the music, uh, the replays. They're talking to the talent, uh, discussing storylines that go with the games. Uh, there's the director, he's calling the shots, he's talking to the cameras, he's talking to the graphics operator and the audio operator as well, giving cues. You know, ready one, take one, ready three, take three. Directors usually have camera meetings before the show, telling each individual camera your assignment, you know. If somebody's checking into the game and someone's checking out, camera three and four, I want you to bring the person off to the bench. Camera two, I want you to bring them on, onto the court. Uh, and then camera two, I want you to get the coach on the left side. Camera four, you get the coach on the right side whenever there's a timeout or a big play. The technical director, which is what I'm doing today, I'm punching the buttons that the director calls for. I'm adding graphics, I'm flying to the replay, I'm hitting all the buttons that actually make those work and what you see on TV. Uh, there's our replay operator, he's the one who's backing up all the different looks from every basket, every play that happens. Um, putting together packages on individual players uh, and uh, pre-taping all the elements that we have. Uh, we have our graphics operator, he's typing in all the stats, the score, uh, every time you see a player on the, on the uh, screen and he's got a name on him with all the stats, he's the one making sure those are all up to date and accurate, spelled correctly. Uh, we've got our video operator, he's shading all the cameras, making sure each camera matches so the, the blue paint on the floor looks the same shade from camera 5 to camera 1 to camera 3 and all all other elements in between, everybody's skin tones are the same on each camera. You've got your audio operator, he's making sure you can hear the sounds of the game, he's making sure you're hearing all the taped elements, uh, the announcers, he's making sure they sound good. I hear music. Bells, bells. My talk back. I hear that. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Let's try the Calore. Okay. <laughs> Uh, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Calore. Calore! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, I hear music, and I heard you. I bet you hear you. And I hear me, oh yeah. Uh, you've got the engineer. Everything that can and will go wrong, he is there to fix. He's putting together cables if, you know, if the replay machine goes down or the switcher goes down, uh, you know, it's live TV, something's going to break usually. He's the one who gets his toolbox out and fixes it immediately, uh, makes sure everything's up and running. My role in production specifically is uh, I'm the engineer that's in charge of the truck, so it's my job to be here, power everything up, and uh, make sure everything works so that uh, we can do a show. Available on either end. From the slam cams, you want to know if a coax can run out of it? Right. Well, no, I know the coax can run out, but okay. we got to figure out is it, are there any ending up down here because we can bring clock one. And then what we'll probably do is bring fiber back down for the other one. And of course, we have camera operators in the building. Um, tonight we've got five man cameras, and then we've got two cameras behind each basket uh, for a total of seven different looks that we can take during tonight's game. Start by setting up our cameras, getting them go and make sure that the truck sees us. Once we get all our cameras up and running, we'll fax with the technical director or the director in the truck. And that's just making sure that everything's ready for the game and that he sees us and we see him and we're hearing the program audio from the talent and make sure that we hear them. And then once we're done with fax, come back about an hour, hour and a half before game time and we're on headset and we start shooting our warm-ups or our pre-game stuff if the producer needs anything. Uh, special, we'll start shooting that. In a show like this, you tip it 02, so there's not a lot of pre-production. Uh, you get stuff ready for in the show, uh, but as far as pre-production, you do key out to the open, brackets, that's about it, really. Three, two, 
One. Roll silver up on it. Track it. Your mics are coming open. You can open the mics. Ready to roll gold, ready to flash to gold. And three, two, one, go Neil. Welcome to the hallowed House of Hoops Municipal Auditorium in downtown Kansas City, everyone. The Buffalo Funds NAIA Division I National Championship game. And tonight it's the Evangels of Mid-America Christian and the Tigers of Georgetown. Roll gold flash brackets. Ready to affect X. Roll X. Here's how the flash. Great is all five. And on camera, it is all five. Add the front. Run it. Along with Coach Z. Great to have you with us here for the title game. Interesting matchup. Lose it. We're one minute, one minute to tip. One minute to tip. Seems like they're here every year. Chris Reeves, four years ago, became the youngest coach ever to win a national title at age 30. Today, Full effect Matt two Hugh with the front. Lineups are next. Card one. Seven looks to replace him with a win here tonight. But he's got to figure out a way to stop Andre McWhorter, who is averaging a double-double in the tournament. Yeah, absolutely. He's a good one. And you know a little something. Lineups affect one, two in the front. Sorry. When you were a head coach at St. Francis, can we take a look at the starting lineups tonight? Nope, they're done. Full of outstanding players. Hey, John, are you on headset? And you look there at Mid America. Have they done Christian. lineups yet? Devontae Reed has had an excellent tournament. Uh, he well, is averaging 24 and a half points. We're supposed a game to be tipping right now. Had 30 last night. Yeah. No Blaze, give me a give me a Georgetown shot. Ready out to three. Communication is the biggest key. You just got to make sure that, you know, just because you have an idea doesn't mean everybody else knows what your idea is. You got to make sure you're telling people what that is, how you want it, how you are going to do it. So communication is key, making sure everybody's on the same page going into the production. We're prom promoting the NAIA, so we want to promote that. We want to do our best to promote that organization the schools, you know, they you want to promote the schools, you want to put them in the best light. So we talk about this being the toughest tournament in the nation to win. You have to win five games in a row in the span of a week. This tournament started last Wednesday. They tipped it off, cracking the warm-ups off at 9 a.m. here at the Muni, Coach. It's all coming down to this final game, the bumps, the bruises, the heart, everything on the line tonight. Can we save that? Can we show that last one when we get a break? Yeah, we're going to get a, going to go to break with it if you want it. Okay, thanks. Cottrell three and that last three to break. Two. Two threes going to break, I think Coach wants it. Oh my gosh. We're ready, five, take five. And this is our break, John. This is our break. Two threes to break. And affect silver, roll silver. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, roll gold, is off gold. Five, four, three, two, one. This is our break. This is our break. Roll red, track red. Sorry. That's right. You got to let things go, especially in live television. I mean, you can't you can't harp on one thing. If if a mistake happens, you got to let it go. You know, you can't. You everybody wants a good show, but you can't dwell on something that happened because it's now gone. That graphic was up for five seconds, or that player pack was the wrong player that you told the announcers. You know, stuff happens. It's good for a director or producer to know what they want and tell you exactly what they need, but it is nice sometimes to have a little bit of freedom and tell you, you know, hey, this is the general idea of what we want, but you can kind of freelance it a little bit and get what you need and what you think we need and work off of that. As a camera operator, I try and keep my uh, communication with the director and everyone down to a minimum. Sometimes we have fun and we're chatting around, but if it's a big game, we try and keep that to a minimum so the director can communicate with us properly and he doesn't have to talk over anyone. 
This is a Coming first to you. like you thought it would be. High scoring. Yeah. Let's go over to Coach Z. Take four. Coach, your team came out very loose. Roll out what on silver. Yes. Loose right loose. front. Uh, uh, add the, the front. Well, they're just ready to play. They've, they've been, uh, you know, they've been preparing. I'll give you a 15 to break. Working so forward this moment. Z so, says you know, thank you. Okay. They've been focused okay. all day, focused all tournament, and uh, came out ready to go. Any minor tweaks? You can push on in to him. We got a rebound better. You know, they're getting too many, too many rebound, offensive rebounds, or too many team rebounds yeah. when the ball is tipped out. Where we got to grab that basketball. And stop Radio effect silver. And effect silver. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. The toughest tournament 12, in the nation to 11, win five games 10, in the span of a week. Nine. This is the Buffalo Suns, NAIA Division One National Championship game. Five, four, ah, right. three, time, two, one. Roll red, track red, cross. Communication's important. You know, I gotta talk to the announcers. I gotta tell the announcers what replays we're showing. I gotta tell the play-by-play -play guy what cards to read. Is, is that what, I think Carr is gonna be our first interview. Well, we, we've got his name spelled right, but we'll just figure out who it's gonna be when they get there. So. 20 back. Here's what we're going to do. This uh, We're just going to come back, score. Jim's here. All right, let's do it. Welcome back to the Buffalo Funds NAIA Division I National Championship game. And at halftime, it's Georgetown on top by 11. And now we are joined here at halftime by the president, CEO of the NAIA, Jim Carr. Jim, good to see you here. Hey, Neil. Great to be with and, you. And uh, how about this tournament, not only this tournament here at Muni, but also the women's tournament over at the Independence Center. Yeah, absolutely. Two great tournaments finishing up tonight with uh, Baker and Mid-American Nazarene out in Independence. And of course, these two great teams here, just a lot of great basketball. You know, I got to tell the cameras what shots to look for. I mean, most of the camera, most of the camera guys know what to do, you know, because they've, they've done enough of these games. Um, so there's not a lot of direction or communication there. It just kind of goes with the flow of the, the basketball game. Uh, but inside the truck, you got to tell the tape guys what replays to queue up. Ready, replay gold, replay gold, roll gold. 23 dark is who are replays about. And ready, out to two. And out to two. What are we doing here? Uh, is this a timeout? Let's take a break. We'll take your arm in if you're a post guy. Ronald spinning and splitting. If you have bad communication, it all kind of trickles down from the top, and you know that's when that's when you start having problems. If if you got three camera guys shooting the exact same thing because somebody's not telling them what you need, then when the director takes that camera, he's got nowhere else to go. He can't cut away to the exact same looking shot, you know. And meanwhile, you got one camera who's not doing anything because he's not being told what to do. So maybe the handheld guy's not getting you a shot. You've got nowhere to bail out from that point. It creates havoc. You just got to make sure every single person is on board at the same time, communicating with everybody, and that's key. Part of the communication, you got to hope that what you're saying they understand and what they're shooting, you understand. No matter if you're talking to cameras or tape or the announcers, you always want to remain calm. You know, you don't, you don't want to be in a panic because that gets everybody else nervous or uptight or something, and, and then they're not doing the best stuff. Wave it off, no good. Ready four, take four. Ready two, take two. And we're staying here, we're staying here, no sense because, well. Why? Yeah. Here's a look. Ready replay Y, replay Y. It's crazy, you know, it's fast paced, but you have to remain calm or, or everybody else freaks out. You know, if you're freaking out, everybody's gonna freak out. If you're nervous, Everybody's going to be nervous, so you know you just gotta you gotta stay calm and keep everybody in check. Working against man, splits the defense. That's oh a three God. on the corner for Trent Gilbert. Silver gold, silver gold. Silver gold. Silver gold. Silver gold. Silver gold. And replay silver. Ready, goal. And roll gold dissolve. Coach, I mean, he is 46% from the three line on the season, but he had hardly played tonight. There was no hesitation. Good shot challenge, but 
Trent Gilbert. He's making the women swoon with that shot. Isos, guys. Isos, guys. Benches, 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 benches. Off the glass. Oh! You went in. Ready for it? Take four. Yeah, I will. I, I'll back it up. I'll back it up. I'll back it up. Shade one, shade one, going to the crowd, going to the crowd. Shade one, ready? Dissolve one, dissolve one. All right, back that up, Morgan. Why silver gold? Let's take a look with them. Why? Replay why? If you say slow, I'm coming up there. A man certainly can get in the end in four seconds. Oh, he definitely got that off. Silver and... That's an amazing shot because McWhorter well, silver. it out of his hand. He had it readjusted. He had lost the basketball for extensive purposes. And that will win you the and national title. It's all gold. Well, gold. I got the way Can I fr freeze it, Morgan? Right there. It's out of his hand. Just rock it hand. if you have to. Yeah, right there. Oh, what a ball game tonight. So, for Coach Rich Zavosik, this is Neil Harwell saying so long from Kansas City and the NAI Division I National Championship game, where our final score is Mac U 100 and Georgetown 99 in overtime. To watch this entire game on replay. Okay. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, cross your back, 3, 2, 1. So we're staying here, we're staying here, Lake, we're staying here, staying here, and dissolve. And ready to come up on one, and come up on one. Here are your 79 NAIA National Tournament winners and our 2016 Buffalo Farms NAIA Division I Men's Basketball National Champions, the Evangels of Mid-America Christian University. Once the game's over, we wait until we're clear from the truck. And once we're clear, we start taking all our stuff down. Usually we take down our equipment first, bring that back to the truck, and then we go back for our cables once a lot of the fans are out of the way and whatnot. It was a great game. It was a great game. Thanks, Lee. I appreciate it. All right, we'll still record this for the moment. I don't need a coach interview. I don't need a coach interview. Nice show, everybody. And we're clear. We're clear. Clear one and four. Thanks, boys. I guess what I enjoy every time I go to work is you just don't know what you're going to get from one day to the next, you know. Maybe you got a 20 point blowout, maybe you have a triple overtime, nail biter. Um, but not only that is, how does the whole team come together and work? We've got a lot of guys here today that I have, I've worked with them all before, but a lot of them I haven't worked with in a long time. So I'm excited to see, you know, how we gel together and what, what our production looks like at the end of the day.